right, welcome everybody to another episode of In Touch with Steve Trundolo. We're smiling here, Steve, because you've already commented on my shirt. It said it made you a little nauseous. You, you don't like it. I didn't say I didn't like it. I'm just expressing okay. my, my feelings. I'm going to get you one. All right, all right. You and I, we're going to twin. We're going to be twinning on one of these episodes. Then, then next year we'll go to Coachella together with those t-shirts. Love it. I'm going to hold you to that. All right. You just got back from Cincinnati. 2-1 yeah. victory there in Cincinnati. Before we even start, let me ask you, did, did you try the Skyline Chili? I did not. Yeah. But I did speak to my cousin who has spent time in Cincinnati about this dish and about what we talked about last week. He doesn't like it either. I want to talk to you about one thing that came up during the broadcast. And on the broadcast, they showed a set that said LAFC has five goals, co goal contributions by substitutes. That was best in the league. Five minutes later, Dan Wisowski makes that even better with six goal contributions. Where do you fall kind of on the, some guys are just better as super subs and, and having guys in reserve? I don't think you have to choose. I think for every game, there's a solution. Uh, what I will say is we focus on uh, trying to change the, the dynamic of a game also through subbing and through our substitutions. And we have a deep roster and we have very good players. A lot of players who don't start every game could. And so what we're trying to achieve is change the dynamic of a game through our subbing. I think we've done a good job with that. Not a lot of MLS teams can do that, uh, especially when coaches start looking at their second, third, fourth sub. I mean, maybe they have one guy in reserve that really can change the profile of the game. Whereas it feels like you have two, three, four guys so that the opposing team feels like they're actually playing against 13, 14 guys in one match. Is that something where you guys can kind of disrupt the league and in, in, in your ability to do that? Yeah, compliments to, uh, to John and the rest of the staff here at LAFC. We've put together a very good roster. And, you know, bad news for the others, Brian and Izzy will be coming back soon. And so those problems uh, for others become greater, for us better. Well, before they come back, I want to talk quickly about Danny Masovsky. The moose was loose again. Uh, he's been playing well. I want to ask you just specifically for your principles and your game model. What is it that Danny shows? What characteristics does he have that really fit into it? Well, I think that goal sums it up that he scored in Cincinnati. He's very goal-oriented, direct. He runs towards goal. His touch is taken towards goal, and he shoots. He's a very effective player, uh, simple, pragmatic at times, but extremely effective and, you know, somebody we're happy to have. All right, let's move on to the fun stuff. If you have been watching this program, you know that I was not here last week. Uh, but I was the one that sent in the questions, and I obviously watched it because I watch every week, as you should be doing. We're here every week with Steve. And uh, you made one comment. And uh, they, they had the cool little graphic where I showed up and you said, man, I, I thought we were going to get some softballs. So I have not told you the theme because this will be an easy theme. Okay. All right. The theme is about home. Why? Because LAFC will be home in May for five of the seven games and three in a row coming up, including the Open Cup. So if you're out there and you're thinking, I really want to see LAFC in, in the flesh, the number one team in MLS, now's a good time to do it. So maybe go to LAFC.com backslash tickets. Shameless plug there in the process of buying a new home. What were must-haves for you? Location is important. Uh, we wanted to stay uh, on the west side of LA, which we particularly like, but a little garden for the kids and for the family just to kind of be a family mm -hmm. and not have to worry about them getting run over by a car. What about a room? Do you have the proverbial man cave and or Steve's office? No, I, later. May turn the garage into that. Mm. So that's that's kind of a project that we're pushing out. I might I might do that. Okay, in dream scenario, the garage becomes your office yeah. or your room. What are you putting in there? Well, a TV to watch games. So every app we need that we stream games on, um, for sure. A couch, definitely not a tactical board. And maybe the floor will be a putting green. And that's it. At dinner time, TV on or off? Oh, definitely, definitely off. Definitely off. 100%. Is that a... Uh, an active thing where you, you really want to bring the family together for dinner. Do you have did the chance to have many dinners? Yes, every night. Every night. So, um, yes, it is a, a choice of ours. Uh, there is no media during dinner. Who's the cook? Definitely Mandy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, there are a few dishes I can do, um, but I'm, I, I, my talents lie elsewhere. What's the quintessential meal? Like, you're inviting me to your home for dinner. What, what would we be having? We might cook some Thai for you, like it's like a vegetable curry, a red curry, which we love. We might put some salmon on the grill or some other fish with a vegetable and usually a rice potato. German, German household, so we like our potatoes. Let's say Mandy happens to be away. What are you what are you cooking for me? What am I cooking for you? We're going out. 
<laughs> Easy. You're very good at ordering out, I bet. Do you have a family game night? And if so, is there a board game or a game that you guys like to play when you're all together? Headbands we like. This is a, you put a headband on, there's like a card there, and you have to kind of guess what it is. Okay. Uh, we like Sorry, pretty classic game. Both of my daughters like chess that I'll play Ooh, with okay. them. Car games we love, so Uno is a family favorite. Do you get competitive? I've yes. seen I've seen the tiger get out of the cage a little bit around here, so I'm wondering what you're like at home. No, the kids usually win the board games yeah. and the card games. If just Manny and I are playing, she's not winning. Let's bring it to the end of the day. Kids are in bed. Your wife and you have a show that you watch. What is the show that you watch when you finally get some time to just watch an adult show? That means if we don't fall asleep with the kids, because um, we're both exhausted. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Selling Sunset is one that would Why just... do you need that? You just bought a house. I don't know, I don't know. Because Are you into because it? it's entertaining. No, I wouldn't say I'm into it, but you asked. Is there okay. a show that we both yeah. watch together? Um, that's like, I'm, that's I'm junk into, food TV, right? I'm into it, yeah. I mean, I'm not getting any sort of intellectual uh, advantage or, or knowledge out of this show, but it's entertainment. Selling Sunset. Watch the one, car wreck. Yeah, if you take one thing away from this, is that Steve Trondolo just got to turn off the mind, goes to Selling Sunset. Yeah. Uh, but you've been a great sport as you always have. And those were softballs. You gotta sit. You Thank gotta, you. Yeah, I appreciate those that. Those are softballs for this week. Yeah. That's Steve Tarandolo. I'm Vince LaRosa. This is another episode of In Touch with Steve Tarandolo, and we'll see you next week.